Man, here we go again. We are getting a restock. What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, Sniper Kicks. Just got back from the 85 shop. eBay had a phenomenal display regarding the OG Jordan 1s. And I'm gonna just put some images here and some pictures and some videos here. It was insane, guys. You do not want to miss this video that I'm gonna drop on the 85 shot with eBay. eBay shut Chicago down. We saw some of the original pieces of Jordan 1s. They had every single original Jordan 1. And they had a Jordan 1 Chicago that is worth $75,000. Dollars. So guys, do not miss out on that video. Make sure you have your notification bells on because I'm telling you right now, this video that I'm going to drop on the shoes and on the shop, what eBay brought to the city, you don't want to miss it. I just got back from the shop and it was a great experience being able to you know, meet with eBay, get to talk to them, all that good stuff. But today's video, guys, is going to be a banger, banger, banger. We're going to talk about a lot of topics. We're going to talk about the Travis Scott olives. These are not the olives, these are the reverse mochas, but we're gonna talk about stock numbers. We're gonna talk about the Jordan 11 DMPs, one of my favorite shoes of 2023. We're gonna talk about the stock numbers with that. On top of that, we're gonna talk about the Jordan 3 Reimagined restock that is happening very soon as well. So this is gonna be a great, great, great video. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit that like button. It helps with the algorithm with my channel. And of course, hit that notification bell. But let's start off with these Travis Scotts right here. You already know, everybody's waiting for the olives. So Sneaker Stash actually put out some news a couple days ago, said there's 150,000 pairs of the Jordan 1 Travis Scott olives. And I had a couple guys actually reach out to me when I made that claim yesterday because Sneaker Stash, they're a big platform talking about stock numbers. So a guy that is actually in the game, again, connections, relationships are everything. He told me there's no way there's 150,000 pairs of the Jordan 1 Travis Scott olives. And I trust this guy, I've done business with him. He gets early, early pairs, like he's well connected with Nike. And he told me there's not 150,000 pairs. So we will see. I felt like that was a kind of a high number for it being a woman's exclusive. So right now it doesn't look like we are getting that many pairs, maybe 100,000, because I believe the Black Phantoms was one of the highest stocks for Travis Scott's that we got. Uh, but overall, man, we will see it with this shoe. Overall, like I said, the big sizes are gonna be slim picking. We're not gonna be able to get those big sizes. I'm already prepared to pay resell because a 14 and a half in women's is gonna go very fast so i already prepared for that so guys i'll keep you guys updated on the jordan one olives and again that's going to be a tier zero exclusive so if you have a boutique store that usually gets travis scott's and limited sneakers they will be getting the jordan one travis scott olives early pairs have been coming along now so there has been some back door and it's just a part of the game but i cannot wait for that sneaker. So yesterday I talked about the Jordan 1 Lost and Found restock that we do not know for sure when is gonna be the date, but we do have a date for the Jordan 1 Lost and Found with Sheik. If I'm not mistaken, it might be the 10th. I will put the correct date right here, but the Sheik app is doing a GS grade school restock of the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. Again, it is a pair that is legendary. Gray school pairs are valuable too. So they're doing restock on the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. So guys, make sure you tune into that. Make sure you do your Chic raffle. Chic did a crazy restock on Core Purple's Biohacks, Jordan 6 UNCs, and I know people that personally copped. So overall, that wasn't just a glitch. People actually won those shoes. Like I personally know someone that won the Core Purple's a size 10. So guys, make sure you go into the Chic app and do those raffles and cross your fingers that you can actually win on the Jordan 1 Lost and Found restock. Now we're gonna talk about another reimagined colorway, and this is a banger right here. Bow the Jordan 3 reimagined. And again, everybody went crazy for this shoe. Yes, the resale price is not super high, but this is a super, super, super dope shoe, so do not sleep. 
and they are restocking on Bodega. Bodega is basically a tier zero store. They're a pretty big store and they're doing a restock in full family sizes. So make sure you check out Bodega. They are doing it on the 10th of April. So guys, make sure you go there. I know they will have some pairs, a decent amount of pairs. So they have in a restock of the Jordan 3 reimagined. You do not want to miss out, especially with the Air Movie. Overall, a lot of people was giving it high ratings on the Air Movie. I do need to watch it, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. What were your thoughts on the Air Movie? Yes, Jordan is not predominantly in the movie doing his dunks and everything. It's about the behind the scenes where his mom was able to negotiate Nike. Jordan wanted to wear Adidas. He said, man, Nike was paying me. So all those different things, those intricacies of the background of this legendary shoe right here is in the Air Movie. So I do need to watch that movie and uh, we will see. But again, you do not want to miss out. There is a restock with Bodega. And we will be seeing more restocks of these Jordan 3 reimagined. Like I said, I believe like three weeks ago, there was a restock in Chicago at its Foot Locker. So we will not see the end of the Jordan 3 reimagines. Also, guys, something crazy. And it's crazy. When I was at the shop today, we took a look at the Jordan 1.5 Chicago's. So guys, new sneakerheads, there was a Jordan 1.5 Chicago, meaning that they had the upper of the Chicago and then they had the outsole of a Jordan 2. So it's a hybrid. So Jordan brand is coming back with another hybrid and they're doing a Jordan 2 mixed with a Jordan 3. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna put pictures right here and I'm gonna just put like, uh, yes, a Jordan 2 with a Jordan 3, a hybrid. So they might call it the Jordan Chicago 2.5, like they did the Jordan Chicago 1.5. And overall, they look decent. I don't know if I want to actually cop this shoe, but it has an upper of a 2 and the bottom of a 3. So guys, let me know your thoughts of the Jordan 2.5 Chicago's hybrid model. I'm not a fan. Funny story, when my brother used to have the Jordan 1.5s, this is when I'm not like deep, deep in the sneaker game, but I'm still a sneakerhead. I used to clown my brother when he put those 1.5s on. I'm like, bro, those are not even a real Jordan. Again, I'm young, I'm joking around with him, and now they're doing it again with the 2.5s. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are those a cop? Are those a drop? Are you gonna clown someone if they have the 2.5s on? Uh, because I know I did when my brother had the 1.5 Chicago's. I forgot about that shoe, but when I was at the shop today, they had them there. I'm like, wow, I forgot about that shoe. But hey, hybrids? I don't know. So last thing I want to talk about, I talked about my video yesterday, guys. JD Sports and Finish Line is doing a giveaway of the Jordan 3. Bam, reimagines. And they're doing a giveaway of the Jordan Pop. One lost and founds. So they're doing an Instagram type of like giveaway where you got to tag a friend, put your shoe size, all those different things. Again, chances are slim. But if you want a chance, make sure you go to JD Sports, put all that information in, then you'll have another chance. You're able to do additional entries when you post in your story and all that good stuff. So I want to let you guys know on that. On top of that, guys, yesterday, the pink dunks dropped, the pink foam dunks. Pink dunks are very hot. They're a hot commodity. They are something called hot cakes. And man, a lot of people in Discord was able to cop the Nike Dunk pink foam. You know, again, that's a shoe that is profitable a lot of boutiques had that shoe like a lot of sneaker boutiques was able to get that shoe again guys if you do need finish line points if you do need finish line accounts if you need flex points if you need flex accounts if you need all those different things we have those on discord we have nike live monitors we have a lot of different things we have group chat so guys if you want an advantage of actually copying shoes for retail make sure you tap into the discord so on that just got in discord i'll actually put a photo right here they just got in and they were able to cop two decent pairs just being in the Discord for a day. So again, there's a lot of advantages of you being in the Discord. If you're interested, make sure you hit the link below. And if you have any questions, make sure you hit me up. But guys, I gotta end with this one. The video's not over. The video isn't over. I forgot. We're talking about the Jordan 11. Yes, we are talking about the Jordan 11. And guys, we are getting a ton of pairs of the Jordan 11 DMP Defining Moments Pack. So guys, I'm a big fan of the DMP because they are like a Concord right here. You see this Concord right here? But you got the gold Jumpman and you have the hang tag and it's a super dope shoe. So 
as you guys know, there is a Holiday 11 every single year, and that is Jordan's most produced, you know, silhouette. They push out the Jordan 11. They want as many people to get this shoe on Christmas. That's where it makes its money. That's where Jordan Brand makes its money. And guys, they are making over a million, let me say that again, over a million pairs of the Jordan 11 DMPs. And we haven't got the DMPs, I believe, since 2006, if I'm not mistaken. And man, they are a beauty. I'll put a picture right here. You have the gold accents. Like, bro, it's like this shoe right here. But you have the gold jump, man. And guess what? It is not gonna be a mesh upper. It is gonna be a leather upper. So this right here is gonna be leather. So I'm excited to actually see official images of that shoe, the Jordan 11 DMPs. But overall, guys, we're getting over a million pairs. So if you do want to cop this shoe right here, it is not going to be very difficult. We talk about all the things that you can do to actually cop shoes for retail. But overall, guys, this shoe is coming out December. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. We're getting over a million pairs. Z Sneakerhead also tweeted it as well. So that's another stamp of over a million pairs. And uh, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think of the Jordan 11 DMPs. One of my favorite non-OG silhouettes. We got the Concords right here. But then, bam, the Gold Jump Man. And I cannot wait. Uh, hopefully we get that hang tag as well. That gold hang tag, that is just fire. But really do appreciate you guys for watching this video, man. You know, I had to give you guys these updates on a lot of different things. Like I said, the Jordan 3, the Lost and Bounds, these DMPs that are going to be over a million pairs. We had to talk about the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Olives that we don't know if it's over 150K pairs. That's awfully high. So maybe we're getting a little bit less. Again, a reliable source said that is not true. That is cap. So I'll keep you guys updated, guys. Like I said, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that like button. Of course, hit that notification bell because I will update you on sneaker information and show you guys how to cop for retail. You already know, the video is coming soon of the 85 shop. That was crazy. Like, my head hurts just being there, seeing all these Jordans. They probably had over a million dollars worth of inventory there. So that video is gonna be crazy. Make sure you have your notification bells on because you do not want to miss that. But really do appreciate you guys. You already know. Snapper Peace out. Peace.